will go over the basics of asthma. Asthma, in general, is a disease of the airway. It is marked by inflammation and hyperresponsiveness of the airways, which can lead to a blockage and obstruction of the airway, making it hard to breathe. Asthma can either be acute or chronic. An acute exacerbation is what you typically think of when you hear of asthma. That's, make, that's when it's hard to get air in due to a trigger. Chronic asthma is an underlying disease which makes it harder to breathe in the long run. About 10% of children are diagnosed with asthma, and over half of those outgrow it. For the rest of the children, it can be a lifelong chronic disorder. Asthma is a spectrum of a disease. This means that you can have different degrees of asthma. You can either have intermittent asthma, where you only get attacks every so often, or you could have mild persistent, moderate persistent, or a severe persistent asthma. There are multiple causes of asthma. In general, the immune system is hyper-responsive to antigens, meaning that when an antigen is presented to the immune system, the immune system ramps up to a degree that's beyond what it needs to be. Not all antigens will trigger an asthma attack, but they tend to be environmental, airborne, pollution, um, allergens, medications, stress, or pet dander. Clinically, asthma will present with a cough, which is typically worse at night, wheezing, such as when trying to breathe out, so during expiration, and just in general, hard to breathe, uh, breathing problems during sleep, general signs of atopy, which is skin sensitivity or a runny nose when exposed to trigger allergens. To diagnose, what you would do is spirometry. Spirometry is a device that you would breathe in to measure your inspiration and expiration. Also, you can use a chest x-ray or skin tests to test for asthma. For the skin tests, what they do is they expose the skin to multiple different allergens such as foods, pet danders, smokes, pollutions, and if the skin is hyper-responsive such as like a red rash, then you know that that triggers the allergy. In general, the goals of treatment are to reduce the breathing problems and also reduce the risk of developing asthma exacerbations. Typically, there are some general rules that you can follow to help with asthma. One is to get the flu vaccine, avoid smoking, or in terms of children exposed to secondhand smoke, to educate the family to stop smoking around or inside the house. And you can also use allergen testing to diagnose and figure out what the triggers are. And then finally, you can decrease obesity. So what happens if you do have an asthma attack? There are certain short-term medications that you can use, primarily being albuterol as the, as the most recognized one. This is used for emergency asthma attacks and is a short-acting beta agonist. There are also drugs called short-acting anticholinergics that act via different mechanisms but also help prevent and treat the short-term acute exacerbations. For more of the chronic long-term asthma, you would use a long-acting beta agonist or long-acting anticholinergics and sometimes in combination with corticosteroids, either inhaled or oral. This video is not meant to diagnose or treat asthma. It is important that you follow up with a clinician.